In a highly impressive display of mental prowess, young South Asian children are able to solve complex math calculations within seconds simply by flicking their fingers through thin air. Their secret tool, an imaginary abacus.news reports on the Mind Math Long 2014 program held at the robotics lab of the Karachi Institute of Technology and Entrepreneurship in March described young children raising and flicking their fingers to keep track of long series of numbers and solve calculations with mind-blowing accuracy. They were apparently taught to use their hands as the beads of an abacus, an ancient calculating tool to add and subtract at the speed of a calculator. The technique is actually quite simple, but requires years of practice to master. The fingers on the right hand represent unit digits, while an open right thumb is interpreted as the number 5. Each finger on the left hand is used to tally tens, and the left thumb corresponds to the number 50. So two thumbs up to a student of mental math would indicate the number 55. What's more amazing by this effective technique is that it can be used by anyone, a visually impaired child who participated in the Mind Math Long program was able to calculate just as well as any other student. An 11-year-old could multiply strings of 10-digit numbers and even find the square root of a 6-digit number, without the use of a calculator, pencil or paper. This indicated that the mental abacus does not depend on language systems. While most others need to represent numbers with verbal names, mental abacus appears to be entirely a visual task. What we found confirms and extends previous work suggesting that mental abacus is not based on language, but is really a mental image of some sort, a visual representation, said Frank. Because the physical abacus group speeds into columns, it's easier to hold a mental image of the abacus in your head. According to Altaf, Mental math is for everyone, anyone can use it to sharpen their minds and improve listening skills. You would have to pay attention though and work hard, so if you're one to daydream in class, the technique might not be for you.